It's Friday, July 5th, correction, August 5th. We are in a pretty good chop here, four foot uh, waves. Dinghy's uh, holding its own. Got a little water in it. Seems to be doing fine. We are on our way to the Benjamin Islands. We got about seven miles left of this. But we're doing okay. That's, that's uh, Valentine behind us. And all what went ahead to uh, cut the time that they would be bouncing around out here. Anyway, we're doing fine. Heading west still. Kath's trying her hand at the, at the helm. It's a lot of work keeping it steady. Everything inside getting flooded from the spray. Working my way back up to the bridge. As I said, four footers out here. Rolling in on us. You can see the spray we're taking. But the boat's handling it very nicely. Getting a good wash down, if nothing else. Some hills made up of rock over there. Benjamin's are dead ahead. We're making good about eight knots over the bottom. So we went around the corner at Clapperton Island. That's the Benjamins right there. The seas increased to four to, uh, rather five to six footers. Uh, we're doing okay, just uh, going along. Well, I believe we're gonna paddle up and, and flutter by you. This spot's for a 35 foot boat. So we are on the south a side of the Benjamin Islands. 42 foot boat. Got two bow anchors out and a stern anchor. Problem right now is the surge oh, okay. from the, the hotels. All right. South southwest wind okay. is coming right yeah, in here, so therefore, causing these swells. If he, if he does find but that'll calm he's down. To ask about the marinas. I think we're good here for tonight. Say so we have people coming by boat as well. What, what's your availability for? for uh, Beautiful marina? place. Lots of rocks. All right. I'm sorry. You know, um, we're not more helpful, but, you know, I didn't realize that Canada was the better one for the world in the northern area. We're in this little cove on the eight. south side of the Benjamins. Only ones in this cove. You can see the bottom. Very clear water. I'll get a temperature in a minute. Water temperature. There's Randy fishing. There's Grandma fishing. She's got the bug. Yeah. All right, it's starting over. We got to do it again. Look what it looked like. Right. I was supposed to take a shower. I said, I don't feel like Happy it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cap. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Make a wish. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> what do you got? Big candles? No. <laughs> well, I guess you're not going home. <laughs> that wasn't what I wished for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> very nice guys, thank you very much.
This is the South Island and the Benjamin Islands. We're in a tiny little harbor here, marina. No, oh, not marina. A uh, little bay where we sought shelter. It was pretty rough out yesterday. Very, very windy. The wind howled, gusted to 30 knots, which with three boats is not too much fun. There's the anchor line. You can almost see the anchor out there. Water is so clear. Caught some smallmouth bass. We're going to have that for dinner tonight. Pretty place. You don't come in this way. You had to come in that yeah. way? Yeah. yeah. So this is the Benjamin way. Islands. South That's Island. Big as your boat if it's not. It's not bigger than Kathy, but it's damn near Yeah, I, I, st I think it's a 420 AC. Looks like a C Ray 420 AC. Really? And there was a sailboat in there. There was actually two sailboats in this one. No kidding. Kat, you see the one on the left? There was two sailboats. It's the only way in. They got those big boats right through this. These are the Benjamins. The two boats were over here, Jude. The two boats in the middle, the red and the green top, were the two that were anchored right here. So as soon as that sailboat left, they snuck over there. They were waiting on their move. Boulders just below the surface. And that one's not even below the surface. the iron and the rocks, the red or orange. So here we followed the guy with the sailboat. He says, why don't you follow me? I'm going there now. He goes, because there's a couple of rocks that you won't see. See this big rock? Yeah. He said halfway between these two rocks, there's a flat rock out here that a lot of people, it's only a now with the high water, it might be two feet underwater. He said, usually it's about six inches to a foot. People stand on it. It makes it look like you're walking on water. But he says, if you Even the two big sailboats in the back are going and two boats are in their place. spot straight ahead over here yeah that's the wind direction it was there was nothing breaking so they were getting a full brunt of it right in here but no waves right but a lot of wind now had we jumped ship and came here early where that sailboat is in there. Yeah. There were two big sailboats. Jack, get to sit on. 
Am I going to be, what is it? No, Miss My Money, Money is... is... They're back by now. No. They turned around. Didn't Charlotte they? Boy. No, no. They're, um... Where did I see it today? So you said Charlotte Boy. No, they're on their way to Little Current. Okay, because I thought he said he was just doing, like, the triangle. That's a good little there. spot to hang for a bit. Well, yeah. have to change their mind. And, um... This is his third time, too. So. Yeah, very good. Crawler Life, Mike and Kathy. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to move. Now you see it. Day. Yep. We were the only boat in the marina. In the, uh, not marina, far from it. We were the only boat in the anchorage. Now there are 10 boats. Wind is howling, seems to be doing that a lot lately. I understand it will slow down tonight, which would be nice. It's Sunday, August 7th. We are leaving the Benjamin Islands, that's where we were. There's a, there's a big massive outcropping guard in the channel. Got 37 feet of water here. Yep, so we left our little safe harbor. We're heading between Hook Island and that big island there. To start heading up to Bear Drop Bay, about 19 miles away. Eagle Island. That's Eagle Island. Bigger island. Than Eagle. That one is Eagle Island. They did go up that way. just met the loopers on that PDQ that we met in Beaverton at Winter Harbor Marina. His name is Tom and I believe her name is... Anyway here we are on this little tiny island in the middle of the North Channel. That's what it looks like. Pretty amazing array of islands. Gonna get down here so we don't look looking through the eyes and glass. There it is. Just one island after another. So those loopers on the PDQ are from Florida. beautiful sunrise. Today is Monday, August 8th. We are heading to Drummond Island to check into customs to come back to the U.S. It's about a 40 or so mile ride. Flat seas right now. Secret is to get on the way right away. We had a nice gathering last night on that rock right there. Pretty, pretty nice to meet the uh, Canadians and our friends from the PDQ. Next adventure. <clears throat> we have shifted quite a bit. We were facing there, right there. There is our messenger ball right there. And now we are facing there. But the anchor is there. That's our friends, newly made friends from Canada. Very nice right now. Be very, very good to get on the way. Yes, Cap, how that work? Getting the boat ready for sea. That's the 
mainland over there, there is a Highway 17 right on the other side, right just in from those trees. And that's the way we're headed to Drummond Island to check into customs back in the USA. That's where we stayed. Little island right there, tucked up inside. The entire trip over to Drummond Island so far has been totally flat seas. Absolutely perfect cruising conditions. Just had the boat up to wide open throttle at about 27 knots. And it was really nice with this flat, calm sea. We're back in U.S. waters. It is... Thirteen fifty-four, one fifty-four. About six minutes to two, and we're back in U.S. waters. There's the line. The thick line is my route line, and that little dotted line next to it indicates U.S. waters on the left and Canadian waters on the right. There's our turn coming up to head toward. Uh, Drummond Island. This is what it looks like. There's our route line coming around, going through this little zigzag course here, and then into Drummond Island. Drummond Island, USA. Got to go right through there to get to the customs office in the marina. That's us right there. And we are right on the U.S. Canadian line. That dotted line is the separation line from the U.S. and Canada. We're going to be weaving our way through these islands. Not those, but those. You can see the change in the water. It's crystal clear here and it looks blue instead of green. Clear but green. Looks a little more blue as we were told it would. Absolutely beautiful day today. Wind has picked up a little bit. But we're five miles out. Beautiful sailboat heading in the other direction. Looks like it might be a Choi Lee. His next adventure. He was with us on the last island we were on. Nice guy, Tom and Laura. Right, I'm going to step off. You take the garbage with me. Yep. So we are in Drummond Island Marina. Cute little place, very small, but very nice. We came in from out there. Water is kind of a different color here. There's Valentine, as usual, and signing off. Yacht Haven on Drummond Island, Yacht Haven Marina. So this sunset is typical of many that we've seen. Pretty awesome. And there's Kath up there doing her chores as she does every night. Labors over the notes and blog that she signed up for. Sometimes overwhelming, nonetheless. I have no help. She has no help. 
but she does it every night just like that pretty pass amazing the baton to you, my dear. she's trying to pass the baton to me but she knows better give a look back here Kath. there she is still smiling amazingly enough <laughs> 